division fight. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clear. to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Straight punch lands. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yeah. 
look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Circling to his right. Good punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that column tie reach back inside and try to find space. Jab now, no good. I want to see the high kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. They need to take down now. Let's go. Beautiful hit. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that. He's put it all together. I mean, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Impressive. He's got to go change that finish down now. Let's go, let's go. 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 Over and over, he's landing his big body kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Seconds to go. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Changes his stance. Horn oh, sounds oh. for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Again. 
try to establish that jab. Big kick lands. Lands with a right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Great punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Trying to get the knees going. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another big leg kick land. He gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Massive head kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big leg kick land. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick is blocked. Real sneaky body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. What a body kick. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice kick. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swinging a miss by Lee. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Cut his block. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin. Body with that body. Not there. Ten seconds to go. Good stick. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Circling to his right. Big kick. Previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! Just over three minutes to go. That one blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Beautiful body. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big punch land. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Oh, and he caught the kick. Able to check that kick as well. That one's not good. Nice strike. Nice head kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. 
blocks that strike. Nice leg kick. Oh, huge head kick. And he comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. How about those five minutes? Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice straight punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Punch over the top. What a tricky head kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Beautiful strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Able to check the high kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, Superman punch lands. that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands the right hand. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice head kick. Nice strike. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh man, head kick land. Beautiful kick. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Huge block there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Whoa! 
Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, big left. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice kick. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. And that one certainly found the target. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues at the start of the next round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big body kick lands. Good punch lands. Blocks the shot. Got the kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Throws the right hand there. It's blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Oh, big head kick lands. Right hand on point. Well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Can't take many of those. You better check. Beautiful body can land right under the elbow. Finesse with a right.
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice defense there, huge block. Back and forth we go here. Powerful leg kick lands. Ooh, big knee. Under a minute now to go in the fight. <laughs> Just misses with the straight right. Oh, he caught the kick. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Body kick. 20 seconds left. Liver kick. Visibly limping here. Big kick land. And he switches his stance yet again. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.